guys welcome back to episode three from Galapagos this is day three on the islands uh, this morning we took a boat ride for about two hours and ten minutes from Puerto Ayola I think or Ayola from Santa Cruz Island to uh, Isla Floriana Floriana Island and we are going to um, do a walk first and then some snorkeling uh, we had some problems with the boat but we are here now and I wasn't sure what they were looking at son anidas, son, son los nidos entonces ellas cavan hacen un hueco como de 1 o 2 metros de profundidad dependiendo del tamaño de la iguana y ponen los huevos ahí okay, okay. entonces vamos a ver muchos de estos estos huequitos mm -hmm. alrededor del camino, en la playa es por la anidación de las iguanas marinas que ya es temporada de anidación that we are going to do some snorkeling now uh, not sure we're go what we're gonna see uh, there's some uh, sea lions over there back there I don't know if you can see it but we were told not to go over there because there's a male sea lion and it, they can be aggressive and bite you so we won't get too close to that While scuba diving may not be for everyone, I feel that snorkeling is a must-do activity when you visit the Galapagos Islands. The water is clear and there is always a variety of fish to be seen. I tried to get the names, but it was more difficult than I thought, so I prefer to avoid making mistakes with them. While swimming around, I couldn't help but to notice that there was a lot of small pieces of plastic in the water. I later asked about this and was informed that the island's authorities are very concerned about it. Most of the plastic comes from the mainland and there are ongoing investigations to find out from where exactly it is coming and what can be done about it. But needless to say, it's a global issue. Who would have thought that after grabbing yet another piece of plastic, I would turn around and spot one of the most beautiful animals in the world? So yeah, that that was 
a little bit concerning, but we get uh, we got to the island uh, safely, and we did some snorkeling, and uh, it was pretty cool to uh, have been able to swim for the first time with a turtle. And this is the beach that we were. I'm gonna put the name uh, here somewhere that you're gonna be able to know where we are exactly. Uh, now we're gonna have lunch and we're gonna do some more exploring in the afternoon before we go back to the island of Santa Cruz. With a population of about 125, Floriana is the least of one of only four Galapagos Islands that are inhabited. You can overnight there, but there aren't many options. In the afternoon, we went uphill to explore other areas of the island. It was interesting to see the different zones of vegetation, although we were later told that the island was once set on fire by pirates and is believed to have contributed to the extinction of some species originally found only here. Should you ever be interested, the island of Floriana has some really odd stories, with perhaps the Whitmer couple being one of the more interesting ones. So we are going to go through this labyrinth and apparently there are some caves as well over here. My dad waiting for me. Look at this. So really high rocks. Look at these steps going up. The group has left us alone. I hope we don't get lost over here. Oh wow, look at this view. Look at this view. We are at about 350 meters or so above uh, sea level. And because I have a lot of bags with me, I start feeling like I'm getting tired. Of course, we've been walking for about an hour in these mountains. I, mean, I can't even speak right. So, yeah, this is the island of Floriana. Do you have any money? Ah. That was interesting. So we're now <laughs> I think over here. Yeah, Wow, they really went fast this time. As far as our trip, we started going back to the port so we can depart for Santa Cruz Island. During our ride back, we had the pleasure of seeing a group of dolphins jumping behind our boat. It reminded me that while you are in the Galapagos, you never know what you will see next. Thanks for watching and remember to click the subscribe button. Until next time.